Hello, 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 and welcome. We are starting a new series called Stranded Raft. Uh, some of you may be aware there is a uh, game out there, a survival game, that uh, is called Stranded Deep. And I happen to like that game. It's not quite finished yet, but it's pretty good. And uh, so it looks like someone made a Minecraft version of that. And I know I have seen other YouTube channels uh, do series on this, but I wanted to do one anyway. First thing we're going to do is get some of this wool. Oh, come on. For uh, a bed. Wait, what's under here? Oh, nothing. Okay. We're just going to take enough for one bed. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and that one's closer, but I think I want to check this one out first. I have played this a little bit uh, on my own. Uh, obviously not right now. I mean, I started this fresh for the uh, series. But um, if you are familiar with uh, Stranded Deep, you know that there are ships around, see, like this one, that, to, uh, that have loot and can be explored. They have implemented, obviously there's hunger, but they've also impl implemented thirst and you get cold. So there are elements here that you don't normally deal with in vanilla Minecraft. And it's pretty cool little game. Pretty cool map. So, anyway. Oh, I'm getting hit. That's a guardian. Yeah. Alright. Let's get up here. And let's get some wood right off the bat so we can get our bed made. always looking for new survival maps and one thing I liked about this one I enjoy the challenge of things like skyblock I think those are fun and they're challenging and I really enjoy them but sometimes they're just a little too challenging and I want something a little bit more relaxed depends on my mood Depends on my frame of mind, my time available, different things like that. And this one seems to be a nice balance. And I don't always take the time to bust leaves, but considering we need the apples for food, I thought we might ought to. Take the seeds. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, num, 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 num. let's do our basic. Let's get this started. Oh, goodness. Um, let's get this down. And let's go ahead and put these in there. I wonder if this will work. Nope. We'll look at all this stuff here in just a minute. First, I want to make sure that we are settled for the night before we start worrying about all that. So... Get our bed made. And let's see, we need, we're going to need to make a glass, but we also need to make a pick. 
So let's do one more of those. Yes, we need some cobblestone. And we'll go ahead and we'll get, um, oh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and make that. And we'll wait on the sword. Let's get some cobblestone so we can smelt. made and we'll put that over here get some charcoal While that's doing that, let's go ahead and gather up some seeds. We will explore that soon. It has goodies in it. They all have goodies in them. Some have better than others. And sometimes you can actually do it without dealing with guardians. Let's make sure we are on, yeah, we're on normal, okay. Pretty as that is, uh, well, I need to bust those. We'll just take out the grass. Let's see if we can get some seeds going. Is that all we have, really? Alrighty then. So we have three seeds. Go ahead and get <laughs> I don't know what it is about making videos that makes me hungry. It makes no sense whatsoever. How much time do we have? Oh. We are going to need a shelter because even though we can sleep through the aggro, we are not going to be able to stay warm if we don't have a shelter. So that's a concern. Let's put... Um, in with dirt. Since we don't have a bucket yet, could have swore we made a hoe. Yes, we did. And, hmm, probably should have done this closer to the water. I know. I should have done this right the first time. I usually try not to do it too close to the water because the seeds and stuff, sometimes the bounce radius, but we have, this is uh, pretty shallow. It's only one deep, so. Ugh. I'm gonna get these seeds in here. All right, let's get to bed. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Where's the bed? 
Hopefully we got to bed just in time. Alrighty. And we will take this and we'll go ahead and make some more charcoal. And we will make a water bottle. And let's go fill it up with water. And then So we shouldn't be thirsty anymore. And I've mentioned this on other videos that I've done. I don't know if they're on the channel. I have all kinds of stuff pre-recorded that I haven't even uploaded yet. But uh, a little trick that I learned from watching Wells Night is your wheat will grow faster if it's uh, if it has like tilled ground around it. It seems to uh, grow faster. So. That's something I try to do. All right. Let's um, hmm. let's go ahead and get some more cobblestone. See if we can find some, so we can make a stone pick and a stone sword. And then we'll come back and get that iron. Make a stone pick. And make a stone sword. And we're good to go. All right, so now let's get this iron. we can find this is a lot of gravel around here the different islands have different things some of them have uh, coal some of them have iron some of them have lapilazuli or lapis I've always called it lapilazuli that's what it looks like to me but I've been watching some videos of um, the uh, story mode for Minecraft and they call it lapis. So I'm guessing if Minecraft calls it lapis, then it's probably supposed to be lapis. I'm trying to break my habit, but I've been calling it that for a long time. So it may take me a minute to get it right. I usually, when I do a new survival map, one of the first things I do is to usually gather a bunch of wood to make a ton of ladders, and I dig a mine shaft straight down to level five to start looking for diamonds immediately. However, <laughs> I know from playing this a little bit before that will not do us any good here some more stone. Let's get this pick used up. I don't know if anybody else has checked out the uh, snapshots that are leading up to 1.9 or not, but it's definitely worth it. You should really check it out. It's been a long time since they've done an update. I believe uh, Captain Sparkles, I believe is his name. I think he said it's been over a year. I haven't double checked that or tried to verify it on my own. But it's been a long time since they've done an update, and uh, I'm really tickled with what uh, they've done so far, and really looking forward to the changes. They have so much neat stuff. They have um, the dual wield, which is obviously not perfected yet, 
but uh, let's see what are we gonna make with that it's not enough for a chest not enough for pants I could do boots or I could do a helmet <clears throat> I think we'll probably do a helmet for now okay um let's go let's put all this oh we can't because that chest is full let's get some more wood I really hate tearing down these trees because they're so pretty especially the ones that they built custom but they are here to be used and we need them so we're going to use them all right yeah I don't even know how I found Captain Sparkles but he has a wonderful channel and if you don't believe me ask his subscribers <laughs> he has an unbelievable amount of subscribers it's crazy I want to say it's like 8,000 or no it's more than that he has a, he has tons and tons and tons of subscribers and I can see why he has a very good personality he does great commentary he's fun he has a lot of good um, qualities that are entertaining. And he's pretty positive. I like him. I like him a lot. Let's get these sleeves busted. Come on, give us some more apples, please. Thanks for getting some saplings. make another little small chest so we can have some room once we get a uh, shelter of some kind up we will start exploring the other ships but we really need some kind of a shelter because when it rains, it's going to tell us that we're cold. And then it's going to say that we're really cold. And we are really, really cold. And you can actually die of hypothermia in this. And I'd really rather not. So, if we can avoid that, that would be awesome sauce. Let's elevate her up here. charcoal made, we need to get torches made, we need to get tools made, we need a shelter made. probably going to dig this island down to that level so that we can have the sand for uh, glass oh yeah we have mining fatigue because we're thirsty so let's go drink all right good to go got everything we can reach from here it looks like so down we go let's gather these up let's 
Check the sun. Let's get out of the shade and find the sun. Where is it? Ooh, it's going down. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. I don't want to be up there on the top of the elevator and be in a hurry to come down. We'll get what we can from here. Once we get our basics taken care of, we will look at the fun stuff. We'll look at the, the book and get the story and read about the crafting and different uh, challenges that we have for this map. They really did a good job with this map. I'm, I, I really like it. Although, my tone of voice, I probably don't sound too excited. <laughs> I'm concentrating, thinking. And it's late at night, and I'm, I'm not, like, super sleepy, but I'm just, I'm relaxed. It's been a long time since I posted anything to my channel, and... Even though I do have a lot of stuff I could upload, I don't know why I haven't been doing it, except that uh, my real life has pretty much been chaos lately. My living situation has changed, and I am now living with my sister and her husband temporarily, and taking online college classes. I'm going to go to school and get my teaching degree. For years and years, I have always said that I wanted to be an architect. I fell in love with uh, CAD, Computer Aided, Computer Aided Draft and Design, a few years ago. Well, actually more like several years ago by now. I took a class at the Votech and loved it. Absolutely loved it and decided, yep, I want to be an architect. But when my sister asked me what would I like to do, and I said architect, I didn't get very excited about it. So I thought, hmm, I really should be more excited than this if that's what I really want to do. And then later I was talking to my nephew and I was joking around and I said, you know, I could always be an English teacher and something inside me clicked and I got excited about it. And I thought, ooh, yeah, I really should. I really want to do that. When the kids were growing up, my sister's kids and my son and my brother's kids, I had, I had them at my house a lot. And um, I was always correcting their grammar. I corrected the grammar on a regular basis and I'm sure they got tired of it but I heard from them all the time oh my gosh you should be an English teacher you sound like an English teacher blah 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 and I don't know that I should be an English teacher but uh, I really like the idea so that is what I'm gonna do I think we are gonna go with a helmet until we can get some more. We'll put that up. And we'll put that on. And let's go fill our water bottle back up while we have a minute. Our wheat is growing. That'll be enough for a piece of bread once it's finished. Oh, give me that wood. All right, let's see. We don't have that much wood yet. We really need to have some wood. So let's uh, make some more sticks. Let's make an ax. This will go a little bit faster. That one little armor rating. It's not much, but it's a start. 
I know this is not exciting coverage. <laughs> you are not on the edge of your seat going, oh my gosh, what will happen next? It's pretty much a given if you've ever played Minecraft or watched any videos. One person I used to love uh, watching, I haven't watched him in a while because, well, to be honest, they, you know, when they quit posting videos that I'm interested in, then I quit watching. So, but uh, I believe it was Scattercat. I think that was his name. Anyway, uh, he did a series on stranded deep and apparently he uh, was a geologist and he actually knew stuff about surviving in the real world like if you were actually trapped on a desert island kind of thing he actually knew stuff little tips and tricks and what kind of stuff you should do first Andy is Yoda. He has a great channel, too. He's more of a... He's primarily a creative builder. And I like to watch his stuff. My style and his aren't exactly the same. But he does some amazing builds that I really like in Minecraft. And um, I like his personality. I like his style. So I enjoy his channel. But uh, he actually does that for a profession. He teaches survival. And it's actually, it's pretty interesting because, you know, a lot of times we play these games and we tend to distance ourselves. You know, it's fantasy. It's an escape. And a lot of reasons, a lot of us, when we play these games, we do it for escape. We're not trying to think about the real world. We're not trying to think about what bills are due. We're not trying to think about our boss being a butthead at work. We're not trying to think about stuff like that. We're playing a game to be entertained and not have to think about the everyday stuff that can tend to be overwhelming or upsetting or depressing in some way or to some level so we don't always stop and think about the stuff having practical use but uh and i'm certainly not saying base your life on a game because that would be very bad advice it would depend on the game it would depend on your real life situation but uh you know, these are things that you have to concern yourself with in a survival situation. You need something to stay warm. You need water. You need shelter. You need food. So, that's why these things are rep repeatedly major factors in survival games. Because that's just part of how it works. And yes, I am going to replant these. Just not right this minute. Alright. Did we get another apple? I think we did. I hope we did. get under here. And as you know, if you're an experienced Minecrafter, if you take out all the wood from a tree, the leaves will decay on their own. However, if part of that tree is custom and those leaves were placed as a block, 
then they're not necessarily going to decay on their own. We'll have to bust them out. So that is something you have to look for in these custom survival maps. could use a shovel, but we would burn it up really quick. Well, we may have to make one anyway, because I really don't want to clear this whole layer by hand. By hand as opposed to with a tool. Oh, my goodness gracious. I guess we get rid of that. There we go. Now we can sleep. Now we can sleep. All righty. Hmm. <laughs> Forty-six. These trees look cool, but they're annoying to chop down because the branches are all scattered. Alright, we're going to hope these leaves will decay on their own, and we're going to go get this one. I'm going to try to leave the jungle ones alone for now, just because they're pretty. And I don't think I'm going to get saplings out of those leaves. I'm pretty sure those are not, oh, pretty sure those are not jungle leaves. They don't look like jungle leaves anyway. So we're probably not going to get any jungle saplings out of them. going to go ahead and make some shovels. Because we need to get this we need to get this taken down so we can build it a shelter. Yes we do, yes we do, yes we do, yes we do. Alright. Let's go ahead and fill this one up as well. Apple. See, I want to bring it down to here. Of course, that's going to be a problem for. Oh, we can bring it down to that second level. Yeah, most of these trees are on the outside edge. Yeah, okay. Probably going to end up losing our ferns after all. Unfortunately. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get started. We want it to come down to here. 
And we'll just start with this side of the map, or the island. See the bedrock? This is why you can't just do a mine shaft and get metal or ores. dirt. I know it would be prettier or well it's obviously a matter of opinion. It would be really nice if we could have our beach island but we need the grass so we are going to be replanting all this changing the sand to grass as much as we possibly can. That way we can hopefully get some animals to spawn on it and we'll have better uh, tree farm that way and so yeah. Man, we burn through those fast. Looks like we're gonna do this level instead. So let's get our dirt and let's get our sand. We'll go ahead and keep this level sand. And we may need that for flint. Okay. Wait a minute. Get that out of there. All right, so that's dirt. Uh, this needs to be sand. Let's remove this dirt. All right. This is going to be our final level right here. And we're going to go ahead, and what we'll do is we will cut out. Oh, what, 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 what? We will cut out. I didn't bury any under here, did I? No, okay. We'll cut out a little bit and then we'll put the dirt down. And cut out a little bit and put the dirt down. And the reason we're not just going to do it all at once is because we want the grass to grow and spread. And if we chop it all out at once, we will lose that. Wait, yeah, that's right. Oops. Why am I doing that when I have shovels? Okay. So we already have some grass spreading, so that's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ugh, we're out of dirt already. Okay then. And fill in with this. Okay. So that's getting a good start on that. Let's 
get a drink. And, oh, come on. I realize this first episode was not very exciting. We will get to some more exciting stuff. But off camera, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this so that we can have some more grass and stuff. It probably won't be solid grass, but we're going to get as much of it as we can. So, like I said, hopefully we can get some animals to spawn and we'll have uh, a better area for a tree farm and hopefully uh, wheat farm later and different things like that. So, I will work on this off camera and when we come back, we will start on a shelter. Thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you very much.